Let's talk about how to take the derivative, and of course, I will give you guys an example first, but I will give you guys a little test. Let's talk about how to take the derivative, and of course, I'm going to give you guys an example first, and then I will give you guys a little test, okay? So, pay attention to this one right here. Here is an example. Let me show you how to take the derivative for the square root of x function. And of course, we have learned how to use the definition of derivative. If you want to use that, go ahead and be my guest. But the square root is the same as 1 half power. So let's look at this as taking the derivative of x to the 1 over 2th power. Because if we do this, we can just bring the power to the front and minus 1, of course, that's the power rule. And then we will get 1 over 2 and we have x to the this minus that, which is negative 1 over 2 power. And clean things up a little bit, 1 is still on the top, and we still have this 2. Bring this down to the bottom, and we get x to the plus the 1 over 2 power, which again is just the same as the square root, and we have the x inside. So hopefully this is all clear, okay? Now, are you guys ready? Okay, good. Take out a sheet of paper. This is the test question that I want you guys to do. Of course, I gave you guys the square root already, so uh, I will... Give you guys some similar, of course, I'm a nice teacher, of course. Alright, here we have the square root. I will still give you guys the square root of x, but it's a test. So it's just a little bit more difficult, okay? Just a little bit. So let me give you guys square root of x and then another square root of x, like this. Right? They, they, they still look the same. So go ahead, um, do this, alright? You have like 5 seconds. Done? Okay, time's up, alright? So let's see how we can do that. First off, uh, it's still pretty much similar. We have the square root, which is like the one half power. So this right here is the same as x, and then we have the one half power. And then we will just have to put this raised to that power, which is the square root of x, which is again, x to the one half power. Okay, hmm, same thing, huh? Now we have this power, to that so we can multiply this and that together so this is the same as differentiating and we have x one half and then x and then one half okay so far so good now here is the thing and you should know this from your pre-calculus algebra class take a look at this x change color and then change the x differentiating the following instead of looking at the x put that as e to the ln x. This is still x, right? Because e and ln cancel, so it's still x. No problem on that. But then you will have to remember to put this right here. So let's go ahead and write down 1 half x. And then we have the 1 half power, okay? So same thing. Now, differentiating this. When we differentiate e to the something, we'll just repeat that. So we still have e to the 1 half x to the one half and then ln x like so but then you will have to use the so-called chain rule and then <laughs> we differentiate this right here right so this is also product so also use the product rule keep the first function which is one half x to the one half power and we multiply by the derivative of the second derivative of, of ln x even though i didn't show you that you should know that we will get one over x okay and then we add the second function, which is ln x, and then multiply by the derivative of the first. And this is the one I showed you guys earlier, right? Over there. Put the power to the front and then minus 1. 1 half times 1 half. You should know the answer, which is 1 over 4. And then we get x to the negative 1 over 2 power. So very similar to what I showed you earlier. Okay, what's this? Yes, it's just that. And what's that? Yes, it's just that. What's this? It's just this. Yes, what's that? Yes, just the original. So all in all, this is just square root of x raised to the square root of x power. Okay? Continue. Uh, we can do some cancellation. One half power and all that. Uh, this is like one, so we actually have like one half on the bottom like this. Okay? So we will just get one over two. x to the one half, I showed you like so many times already. We have the square root and then we have the x inside. Okay? And then perhaps for the second one we add, let me put down the ln x on the top over 4 on the bottom, and then another square root of x. If you want, you can put this and that together, but get the common denominator. I think this is okay. 
So if you finish this in like five seconds, then uh, you get this question right. You have an A on the test.